Good morning, dear friends, and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are living in the most exciting days of this age. The Lord's coming is very, very close and near. Let us be ready. And meanwhile, we need to be busy in bringing souls into the kingdom of God. For this, we ourselves need to be strengthened in our faith and built up in the knowledge of Jesus Christ and his ways. Now, today's message, a meditation, is entitled, You are a nobody until somebody loves you. This is based on Romans chapter 5 verse 8, which says, Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Please remember this verse as we progress. There is one message that's still coming from the cross on which Jesus Christ died. And God says, I love you and I care for you. This is the message. You know, I'm a, an American poet puts it this way. You are nobody until somebody loves you. And you are nobody until somebody cares for you. You may be king. You may possess the world and its gold, but gold will not bring you happiness. When you are growing old, the world still is the same. You will never change it. As sure as the stars shine above, you are nobody till somebody loves you. So find yourself somebody to love you. But the world is full of people, selfish and unconcerned. Can I find someone who will love me unselfishly? The world is full of people, proud and arrogant. Who cares if I live or perish? There is no unselfish love in the world. There is no one who really cares. We turn to politicians, but they are seen only during election times who will come on our way and is set before us another set of uh, promises. While the old promises remains in paper filled with dust. We turn to religious leaders people, religious teachers, only to hear another sermon, and they all fail. Until you come to the cross, my friend. The cross, more than anything else, is the demonstration of God's love and care for the people of this world. Irrespective of one's uh, religions or creed or caste or color or language or uh, social standing or whether you are a king or a beggar on the street, this message from the cross is for everyone, members of a human race. Until you come to the cross, The cross, more than anything else, is the demonstration of God's love. Here is the eternal message of the cross. All age, for all ages, for all the people, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but to have eternal life. This is a never-fading message emanating from the cross, from ages past, present, and in the times to come. What a wonderful message. 
the woman at the well. You know, this message has reached hundreds and thousands of people, millions of people, ever since this message was given to mankind from the mouth of the Lord Jesus Christ himself. The entire life and ministry of Jesus was this one message. I love you and I care for you. Every miracle he did carried this message loud and clear. The miracle at the wedding in Cana of Galilee carried this message, I love and I care. And Jesus' feelings towards lepers, his tears at the grave of Lazarus, the woman at the well in Samaritan village, Zacchaeus sitting on the tree, Mary Magdalene, the crowd hungry and tired, the thief dying on the cross. All these men and women were nobodies until Jesus met them. And his eyes spoke these words to these people who had no hope. I love and I care. And Jesus made them somebodies. They found their names written in the pages of history. Because Jesus came and changed their life and their destiny. There is there was a man by the name of Bill Sands, was a criminal in the USA in prison. A criminal who could not be broken. A hardened, stony hearted criminal. From a broken and unhappy home. Never knew the real love. Society was his enemy. And one day, the warden of the prison, who also was a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, visited him in the prison. And the warden told him, there are two ways people go out of this place. Either they walk out or they are carried out. I would like to see you walk out. Bill turned on the warden and cursed him with every cursed word that he knew. And finished by shouting at him, Who cares? And the warden looked at him slowly and carefully and replied calmly and gently, Bill, I do. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. God heard the cries of humanity and so many, so many heard this message from the cross. Oh, I pray that many hundreds and thousands and millions more will listen to this message from the cross where God is shouting, I love and I care. While we were yet sinners, God demonstrated his love for us. He sent his son Jesus Christ and died for us who were yet sinners. My friends, what God has to say to you, he has already spoken. I love and I care. It doesn't matter who or what you are. 
if you will literally open your ears and hear it and respond to this saying, Jesus, I come to you. I see your love. I hear this message from the cross. I see that you care, really care. And my friends, you will come out of that prayer changed, transformed with a new message. I have found my life in Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for those who are listening to this message. There may be someone who are completely broken and completely tired and they lost all the hope of being changed in themselves. But now, let this message from the cross come and pierce our hearts and melt us all. And that we will look at Jesus and hear his gentle voice. Come unto me, all of you who are tired and weary. I will give you rest because I love and care. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you, my friends, as you respond to this wonderful, life-changing message from the cross. This is the day the Lord has given you. You can rejoice at the end of this day and be glad because you heard and you met Jesus. Amen.